this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. All right, now we're going to be talking about how to improve the framing of your photos um, after they've been taken. So sometimes what could happen is uh, th there's some limitations. For example, you're looking up into a building and it's the, the, just the perspective is just a bit, you know, it's just a bit off. You want the you would want the building to be front on, but obviously you don't have a ladder, for example. So, or maybe, um, for example, in the case of this picture here, maybe um, you just didn't go. You wanted to take the the picture straight up, but there was something, um, you know, in your way, or you just didn't have the time and you just took a picture as it is. But after you take the picture, you wish, for example, you had been, you had taken it straight on, so that you would be looking directly into. This uh, the, the this archway here. So we're going to be able to going to show you how to uh, correct these perspective and framing um, errors or just how to improve it uh, after you've taken a picture. So the way that you do this, and um, you don't you don't need to duplicate the layer here, but we're just duplicating it here so I can show you before and after, right? So I'm just duplicating here the layer, and um, we're going to go into filter, distort, and lens correction. And the lens correction is where you're going to be able to do all um, the uh, framing and perspective errors, correcting all that stuff. And you're going to be doing that here. If you look down here at the transform, you can correct vertical perspective, such as this way. So um, if you play around, you can see what it is that you're doing here. Um, and I'm going to set this down here to zero. And a horizontal perspective. And this is also just moving... Uh, left to right. So it's up and down or left to right. In this case with this photo here, what we're really looking to do and what's wrong here is the horizontal perspective. We would want the the entrance or at least this door here to be front on. And we can use these guides here, the guide, these uh, grid, the grid to help us along. So for example, if you uh, move around with this tool here to drag the alignment of the grid, if you move the grid around, I'm just going to set this here in between. If you look at the lines of the door here at the bottom, right? They're not straight. And you can use the grid to actually help you see that. For example, if you pay attention here to the door, if we align the bottom of the grid here, then we can see that the door is coming up to about here. So we need to correct that. So we can use the grid um, to help us along to see how much of the horizontal perspective we need to move. So we're just going to drag it around here, the horizontal perspective, until we hit something that we like, for example, here. Now we can move the grid around. And uh, just focus, for example, on the lines here again. If you put the line of the grid over top, you can see that now it's straight. Or the line of the door, so if we move that down here, we can see that that's straight. So we've pretty much got that one covered. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. And uh, obviously, what has happened, I'm going to turn off here the background layer, is it's turned that image around, but then we're running out of image here. And this is always going to happen when uh, you're doing these type of corrections, either up or down or left or right. You're going to run out of some image area because you can see how the image has been essentially rotated. If you imagine this being a 3D plane, then the image is sort of, you know, around here. Okay, so what we need to do, um, just to correct that, there's really no other way, is just to crop that image. So we're just going to take a crop tool and go over to the edges here of the image and double click inside we've cropped it so um, we're going to turn on the background layer here and um, like I said you didn't need to duplicate the layer but it just helps you to see a before and after so um, I would suggest duplicating the layer and doing it so that you can compare here's the before and here's the after do you like it I prefer it this way so you know that you've done it correctly. If you've, if you've perhaps even with the use of the grids, if you've overdone it, sometimes it helps to have that original image to see if you've actually overdone it or not. So in this case, it's pretty good, pretty spot on. So we're going to uh, leave it at this, correcting the perspective of this image here in particular. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.